Now I know I said a while back that I would be getting a Chromebook. However, after having thought more deeply into this, um, I don't think I'm quite ready for it, especially since it seems to me like every little exploit with Chrome OS is being publicized. The most recent one being with extensions. So, um, I think we'll have to wait till we settle down on that one. But also, not only that, um, right now I'm at my summer house, have been for the past week, and I took my Mac with me because it's much easier to cart around and it has longer battery life and, um, and it's just easier on, on me in terms of, um, in terms of carting it around, mostly. Um, but I do realize the more that I use my Mac, the more that I miss Linux. I did not bring my Linux laptop with me because of two reasons. One, the battery life is pretty poor, so I wouldn't be able to get through a full movie on a, on a, on a flight. Um, the other reason is because it's much more cumbersome to lug around. The Linux computer that I have is a five-year-old um, Toshiba that I had essentially um, taken possession of when one of my relatives had upgraded from that to a more powerful Windows system. And I didn't want the Toshiba to sit there and collect dust, and I've been looking for a hardware platform for a while to run Linux on, so I decided to go ahead and, you know, as they say, the rest is history. So, um, I'm thinking about maybe investing in an extremely cheap netbook. The idea being that I would use it primarily for watching movies, um, maybe some light word processing if I decided to take it to school with me, and just staying connected on the web and informed on the web. And that's it. So I'm thinking about two possible routes. The first would be to purchase a pre-installed, uh, a Linux, a computer with Linux pre-installed, like one from System76 or similar. Um, the other would be to take a Windows netbook and to throw Linux at it. The only issue that I see with that is possibly voiding the warranty, just in case the hardware goes flat, if I needed to send it in for repairs. If it's under warranty, I obviously, you know, I, I wouldn't have to pay for those. But the question is, if I were to throw Linux at it, would it void the warranty? And I think it might. A couple of things need to be met. You'll notice that the version of Ubuntu that I'm showing you here is not 11.04. It's most likely 10.10. Uh, .10. And the reason is because up until 11.04, full screen magnification was an absolute possibility on um, Ubuntu. But thanks to the new Unity interface, everything but the dock enlarges along with the taskbar at the top. And it just makes things extremely confusing and, uh, and uh, a little bit uh, overly complicated, essentially. Plus, I'd probably prefer to run Linux Mint, um, but though that's not a must. Because, again, this won't be my primary system. Um, so, basically, a pre-installed Linux computer or throwing Linux at a Windows computer. And it must be compatible with a Blu-ray drive. Because, back at home, we have a Blu-ray player as part of our home entertainment system. And I couldn't bring my singular Blu-ray movie with me to play because I don't have one on me. I don't have a Blu-ray drive on me. My Mac doesn't have a Blu-ray drive, obviously. Um, and you're thinking, well, what about Netflix? The thing is, there's a supermarket not far from me, and they rent out movies. And I've had an account there since, since um, you know, I was younger, back when they were renting out VHS tapes, in fact. And so I'd like to keep that going if I can at all. So basically what I'm asking is... I'm looking for a budget Linux computer, a netbook, or similar, um, very very cheap and very easy to cart around, and that's why the netbook emphasis. Um, easy to cart around, primarily used for the net, watching movies, and maybe some light production work at school, no bigger than word processing. I don't expect it to get incredibly intensive. 
Um, but which route should I take? Basically the pre-installed Linux system or throwing Linux at a Windows system. And again, we need to consider full screen magnification as well as whether or not the warranty would be void. Um, so, yeah. Thank you for watching. Comments are welcome and have a nice day. And I look forward in advance, and I th thank you in advance for your help. Look forward to your suggestions.